Hi fellas, welcome back to my video and uh, this video is for the for the assembling the Bosch GBH 11DA rotary hammer drill and if you seen the previous video, the disassemble video the parts was stuck in a in a housing and I was needed to look at the housing to release the parts and now I have the armature released of course I broken this part now it's a new I have the new part but I was needed to cut it straight away and cut the housing of course uh, yep uh, and that was the time consuming I was not making video about that because it's really time consuming job yep and now it's just the time to assemble this great tool and of course I will make the video about that. I just want to take out this paper from here. I will clear my table a little bit because it's a mess here. Uh, yep, yeah. and now we have the really big tool. And I think what I will start from, I will start from the cylinder and a tool holder. Of, co of course, we can put the ceiling in. Because we can lose it or damage in a work. Yep, I'll put it in a place. Yep, now it's in a place. Almost. Uh, yep, and what we have, we have the. I'm using the Makita Grease here. The yellow Makita grease, and I see that it will be hard for me to, to get my fingers in to reach the grease, so I'm cutting the, the bottle. Yep. Yeah, we have the grease. Yep, we have the striker, and um, the striker goes to the into the tool holder. I'm just lubricating it a little bit. Yep, just getting it in in a tool holder. And what we need now, we need this cylinder. I'm just cleaning everything here. Yep. We have the cylinder here and we have the holes here for holding the tool holder inside. But first of that we have this part. We need to put it inside and uh, the easiest way is to put it inside is to put it like this and then spin it. And it must be the if you can see the corner here it must go up. Can put it like this. Now we need to find the parts here. It's the fat o-ring here. Just getting it inside. We have the washer. I will grease it a little bit from both sides. And you can see the bump here in the washer, the corner. And normally the corner goes like that. So uh, why I'm greasing it? As you can see, when I grease it the part holds really well and I can put it inside uh, without afraid that it will flip around when I'm putting it in so just trying to put it in yep it's in now we need to align the holes here and put the pins just got it a little bit too deep what you can try to make too is to hit it yep and you can see it pops in just getting all the four pins in yep as we have the pins in you need to put a part on it and um, I think it will be this part. 
something we need something to hold it here. Here it's really a lot of parts. Yep, we have this one and we have the the washer, the felt washer here. We have the o-ring here. We have the other washer here. It's really really all the washers. Yep. And uh, now you can see the holding ring here. And you have the washer with a with a gap here, so you need to put a gap down. Just make sure that the uh, holding ring, the spring ring, is in a in a gap. Yep. I see it's in a gap. Now we need to put the o-ring here. Yep, I think if if I've not forgot something. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe maybe not. Yeah, if we have you here. Sorry, I forgot something. I think yeah, it's a part of the job. Okay. Okay, now I think you will be here. Yes, you'll be here. Yeah, it's it's a washer here missing. So one, one for here. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's okay. Oh, sorry really for that because I assembled it a long time ago and uh, and cannot remember some of the parts. So we have the washer, we have the o-ring, and we need a second washer. Yeah, I think. It will be this one. If not, I will be back. Yep, you can see that the gap looks good now. Just putting the spring ring to hold the parts. Uh, yep. Now flipping the tool holder around. This part is not needed for us now. And we have the plastic piece somewhere here. Yep. We have the plastic piece and we have the places for the okay for this one I will just put some grease here on a cylinder when you put the grease it's you prevent the parts from working without the grease on the dry mode or I don't know how you call it and it's of course it's better for the tool and the parts Holds better in the place. Yep, now goes this part. Okay, this part I will lubricate the cylinder here. And you can see the corner here, so you need to get it down because the spring will will be mounted on it. This spring uh, it's a uh, six millimeters length. Yeah and now we need to put them this part here and I need to find uh, another holder for this one the spring ring. I will try to do that now. And that's a problem you face when your table is too small. Yep. Okay, and here it is. Yep. Okay, so again the ring must go here in a, in a gap. 
Just getting it on. Pressing it down, make sure that the ring is in a in a gap all around. Yep, you can see how it looks assembled. We have the oil here. Yep. And <coughs> one thing I want to do now is um, to put the the part here, the striker inside the tool because as, as less parts left on the table is better for us and don't forget now the oil goes up if you will turn it around you will hear the awful sound it will it will hit but it will hit um, not hard and it will be the awful sound when you are hammering uh, yep now this part is inside and uh, we need to put this one inside the cylinder, inside the housing. Of course, before that, we have the piston here. I will take the paper. Yeah, now the parts which is going inside. Here, yeah, it's um, it's a lot of parts, honestly. And um, what we have now, now we need to put this part here. Of course, I'll check if I'm not <laughs> leaving any parts. Yeah, then we have the connection rod. I will just mount it. Just greasing it. I love to grease all the parts. Okay, and found a screw inside it. I'll put some grease here. It will go out and the tool will start work, but still. Uh, yeah. Now we have the part here for the. Okay, put it here. For this gear. And you can see that we have the pins here for the cylinder. Okay, so normally this part goes like that. And of course we need to get the striker to it. And it's it's uh, one of the reasons why I hate this model because it's a uh, it's <laughs> this this part of the tool, and uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's just pissing me off. We need to assemble everything, and uh, you cannot put up one by one part. Okay, got the connection rod. Now it's a pin here and the hole here. I will zoom it a little bit. Okay, we have the hole here and the pin. You must line them. And then we have this gear. Um, yep, yeah, this gear. I'm holding it, just spinning it and getting it in place. Now everything looks not not bad here and. Normally I sh it should look, of course, and then goes this part and it goes here in a gap. Yep, you can see the gap here and uh, the pins here goes into the gap because future it will move forward and backward to change the modes how the tool is working. Yep, now it's good. So it's time to put a cylinder here. I will put some grease inside it. And of course I will put the, some grease here. Yep. 
you know, just just greasing the plastic part. It's always I think better to grease the part. Of course, it's my own opinion. If you have your own opinion, you can do as you like. And yeah, now I will try to put it in. Just pushing in the connection rod with the piston, moving the cylinder in, and it seems that it's in now. Okay, I will clean this one a little bit. And yeah, I will try to close this cover now. Of course, I will put some grease all the way here. Yep, just getting it down to the holes. Closing the cover. Now I will close it with, I don't know, maybe with a two screws. And yep, now it's closed so the parts will not fall out. And we have the tool from the up. Put the hammer here. To, no, hammer not work here. Okay. Now it it looks almost good. So we need to put this part here from the top all the way down. Of course, put it straight. Not like me. Yep. You can push it a little bit back. Yep, now it's good and we can see the groove here inside for the spring ring. Of course we need to put it in. Yep, just make sure that the spring ring is inside. Now we have the ceiling, just the cover. And just cleaning it a little bit. And I'm getting it in, pressing it, and don't forget that we have the pin here. Now I have got it in a place from the first time by not looking at it, so it's uh, <laughs> it's like a miracle. Okay, now I got the tool a little bit greasy. Because my hand is just greasy, so I will clean my hands and clean the tool a little bit here. Yep, it seems that we are done with this part. Okay, we are not done. I forgot this part, so I need to put it back. It's good that I have used only two bolts. With this cover because now I can just lift it, put this part, and screw it back. Just getting all the screws here. Yeah. 
what we have here now. We have the hammer housing. So we can put the, the motor housing here. And we have the screws for the motor housing with the 10 millimeters head, I think. Yep, it's a 10 millimeters head. Just tighten it. It will with, a, with your hand and it will be ok, hopefully. Yeah. So now we have the motor housing and the crankshaft together. So we can put the carbon board holder unit here, of course. Not forget to connect it. Because we have disconnected it when they assembled the tool. Yep, now we can put the armature here, I will put some grease on the gear of the armature and I will just slide it in. Yep, now as the armature in, we can get back our carbon brush holders, just pressing them down. them down. Now we need to lift the spring. You can, you can do that with a screwdriver. Putting in the carbon brushes. Connecting the carbon brush. Screwing the screw in to hold the car members hold the unit in place. Yep. Covering the wire, flipping it around. Okay now lift the spring put the carbon brush press down the holder Screwing the screw in. Yep. Of course, if you want, we can put the back over here. So I think I will do that now. Yep, now for the back cover, you can see the pin here. And you can see the gap here, so we need to align them. Just checking why it's 
not really getting perfectly in. Yeah, okay, now it looks good for me. Yep, now with the bolts, we need to find the bolts with a PHU head. We have the flat slotted bolts for the handle and PHU for this cover. Okay, where's my bit? Where's my bit? I'll take this one. Now as we have the cover closed, we have this cap, we need to put it in and screw it. Normally I'm screwing it back forward to fill the thread, the way of the thread and then I screw it in a normal way. And you need to tighten it uh, in a 45, 70 newton meters strength. So you can fill that with your hand, or you can use the the meter. Okay, I think I got it well. And just closing the cap. Here now is good. So now the tool looks way better. If you compare it to the starting of the video, uh, yep, we have the housing now. It's just cover. Of course, try not to lose this label from the tool because you can see the model and other info. Yep, we have the screw here. The screw is in. And now we need to close the over here and I have the broken plastic here okay now I did a mistake yeah no it's good yep uh, now you need to insert the button and you can see that it's only a round button so you have the pin here and you need to get a pin. You need to get the pin right here. So this part is moving, so it's not for me. It's easiest when I pushing it to the some place and and then moving it. As you can see, it's a it's a pin here, and we we have the gap here. So normally, I'm trying to. Put it like that and you can see that I need to align them very well. So now when I put a spring to the right all the way, now it's good and I can try to insert it. And okay, I don't know if I inserted it or not now, because press it really not hard. I will bump it a little bit it go down and yep now it moves good I think okay what is now left for us it's a tool holder and it's better to 
assemble the tool holder before mounting the handle because it's easier to manipulate with the tool, you don't need to hold it, it stands out itself. Yep, and what we have now, now we need to put the washer. Yep, we have the washer here. Then we have the spring with the, the holder. Putting the holders here. We have the gap here for the holders, so just need to put them in, inside the gap. Yep, then it's a uh, Color going here. Then of course we have this one, another one cover, and it goes down all the way down. You can check it if it goes or not. Uh, yep. Now we need a flat washer, the fat o-ring, and the flat washer, and the spring ring. Yeah, as we have the spring in here, we can put the cover here and the cap, the front cap. Yep, now we can put the handle. It's a, uh, it's a uh, <laughs> easiest part of this tool. I hope. Yep, got easy. I'm a left handed so it's better for me to, to hold tool in this direction. I will try to use the flat bed here. And just getting all the six screws in. Yep. And here we have the tool here. Now it's um, one of my favorite parts. It's uh, screening the tool. And I have the sponge here. And just cleaning it to look better. And it will be a really, really nice tool here. And I hope it will serve, serve for the years from now. Or if it will be used in a heavy duty for the six months or more, <laughs> maybe one year. Yeah, and yeah, so we made a assemble of the Bosch ZS Max rotary hammer drill, and um, it's a really great tool. What I not show in the video, I replaced the O rings for this one. So, yep, yeah, now it's it will hammer stronger. Okay, and as you can see, it looks really, really good after cleaning. It's it's all like new. Uh, yep. Uh, for now, just uh, thank you for watching. Always appreciate your comments. They are good or bad. Uh, they are still comments, and uh, they are. Uh, I'm improving by reading them and by answering your questions, uh, finding something new, and um, and yeah, that that's great. That's um. That's a part of the all the YouTube community must be. It's all for the news, for the for the learning and helping to each other. Uh, okay, I will not waste your time anymore. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching all my videos. And okay, just bye and have a great evening today. So bye.